Hello and welcome to my tutorial of how I customize and use this PowerPoint board game that is for sale from Rhizome Resources. The link is in the description. Please check out our website and please support us. Like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we really appreciate any help you can give us for our YouTube channel or our, uh, our shop. When you purchase this PowerPoint board game, it comes with this instructional slide. It says you're going to delete this before you use this game in the classroom or wherever you're going to use it. It could be a family board game. Who knows? If you do not delete this instructional slide, it will affect the way that it is set up. Starting on the far left side just some basics about this board game first it says click on the number for question slide the second click will give the answer and we'll get into that more in just a few minutes next it says to click on the character to move forward it does not reverse so it's only one way and for this game we have two characters and whichever character you click on that's the one that's going to advance now you can use dice for this or you could just go through the numbers one through 20 that's what i do in my classrooms and it goes all the way through now when you click on that number it will take you to that slide but only after you delete this instructional slide on the question slides you are going to replace the picture with a question and you can set the question to animation to disappear and replace answer with the correct answer i'll show you exactly how to do that in just a moment the other parts would be to click the finish for congratulations slide which is an extra slide at the very end you can customize that as well to any way you like and at the very bottom on the bottom right corner there is a red arrow and it will return you to the first game board the board slide but only after you delete this instructional slide what i'm going to do is show you exactly what i do to customize this i'm going to go over to slide number three i'm going to click that one this is for question one so if on the board we click on number one it will take us to this question slide and now I'm going to show you exactly what to do. As of right now, you can just click and delete that picture. And I'm going to just insert a text box. And you just kind of make it any size you want. And I'm going to make it 120 in the center. And I'm just going to type what? is my name you can write any questions you'd like and so you can't really see it right now but what you're going to do after this you write your question go to animations animations now this one i'm going to put in the animation pane so you see what it is already it's got an animation for the text box the answer that's going to be important in just a moment but i'm going to pull down all of the animations and i want this exit i want disappear okay so this what is my name is going to disappear when i click but right now i need a trigger so i'm going to trigger on click text box five so when i click that question it's going to disappear now for the answer i want it to fly in i want it to uh, come on in so this is going to be attached with the previous now we need to move that under text box five so now it's going to work together so that when i click on the question 
the question will disappear and the answer will come up. And I'm going to show you that right now. Just preview this one question slide. There's my question. Now I click on it. There's the answer. Now if I click this red arrow, it should take me to the board. But for this one, I did not delete the instructional slide. So it's going to take me to the instructional slide. Yes, there's all kinds of animations. Don't worry about those. Please do not uh, do anything with those. So if you want these to work, next I will delete the instructional slide and show you how the game board works. So right click, delete slide. I'm going to start from the beginning and show you exactly how it works. There's my game board. Click one character. Every time I click that character, it's going to move. The other character, same thing. Every time I click that character, it's going to move. Now I'm going to click on number one. There's my question. Do they have the answer? Click. There's my answer. And then hit the red arrow to go back to the game board. And the characters are still in the same place where I left them. Well, I hope this was an informative tutorial for you. And I hope you had a lot of fun uh, customizing and playing this PowerPoint game with your class or with your family, however, or your friends however you would like to use this. And please like or subscribe. Uh, that really helps out the channel. And visit our website. This link is in the description box below. We've got so many varieties of these game boards and games. And we've got other materials as well available. And thank you very much.